Welcome back to our coverage of motorcycles from Aikma 2022 and next in the list is something from Honda. It's the XL 750 Transalp. There were a bunch of spy pictures that were spotted about four to six months ago about a new motorcycle that Honda were working on in the adventure segment. And as the days passed by, we became clearer on what the name is going to be, Transalp. Now, Honda has made some fantastic ADV motorcycles, especially the Africa Twin with its 21-inch front wheel. And the way it behaves off-road, I think it is one of the best motorcycles that you can have if you really, really want to go off-road and you love the art of off-roading. On the other hand, you have the CB500X. Both of these motorcycles are available in India. But they're so different in terms of expression, in terms of experience. The Africa Twin is something that is for the experienced rider, the CB500X is so comfortable overall in terms of its riding feel and what it has to offer, except for its pricing. That it's such an easy motorcycle to own and get used to and really enjoy it. And bridging that gap is what Honda is doing with the XL 750 Transat. Now, just to give you a little bit of history and some gyan on the Transalp, it first arrived uh, from Honda in 1986 uh, with a 583cc uh, motor and by the time it discontinued in 2008, it had already upgraded to a bigger 680cc motor. Now, finally, after this long wait, Honda has reintroduced it. Now, this engine is being shared uh, by another motorcycle that Honda has shown at Eichmann 2022, that is the CB Hornet 750, which I will talk about in another video. Now, when you look at the power figures and where competition is at the moment, I think it goes up against the F850 GS from BMW, especially when we talk about power figures. But as time progresses, as technology becomes more accessible and easier on the pocket, more of these motorcycles, the middleweight segment, will start seeing a lot of these electronics uh, that you would normally see on elite class motorcycle. The Transalp as well, I mean, a lot of electronics are uh, stuffed in, especially when we talk about riding modes, so you're getting five year, uh, four preset and one is customizable. There's a traction control system and all the other goodies that you would expect from an adventure motorcycle. In terms of looks, I think it looks more like the CB500X, but it just looks a little bit buff, a little bit bigger. But in terms of the other things that an adventure motorcycle has to give you in terms of equipment, I think it's pretty much there. The windscreen, the beak, the looks, the seat height, the dual purpose tires, the 21 inch front. Uh, so in terms of its off-roading capabilities and its abilities, I think Honda is pretty much checking all the boxes that it has to with the XL750 Transalp. Now, when we talk about India relevance, uh, which I think is very important to address, you have the CB500X, you have the Africa Twin, but there's nothing really in between. And uh, the way Honda has really priced their products in the recent past, even if Honda decides, hey, let's get this to India, uh, it is going to be pricey and it is something that a lot of people uh, will not accept, are not really comfortable with. So I hope Honda get their pricing right in the near future with their upcoming products. But this is it. This is another update from Aikma 2022. Motor show updates will continue. There are a lot more videos that will come on Power Drift. And if you do not want to miss out on any of them, then I highly recommend that you hit the notification bell and keep it on. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about the motorcycle, please drop them in the comment section. And uh, yes, we'll get back to as many as we can. Thank you once again. My name is Varun Painter and I will see you later.